Hey guys, welcome to episode 64 of Norwich City Career Mode. In this episode, we will only have two games because of some transfer business. And talking of transfer business, the title of this episode will probably be like our first signing or a good signing or a 10 million pound signing or something like that. Uh, so if you don't want to see the games, you just want to see that, uh, skip to after the Aston Villa game and you will see who that signing is. So now, getting into the first game, kind of take on Aston Villa. We're in some good form at the moment. Uh, we're moving up in the league, getting closer to the EuroLeague spots and we hope that we could come here and get um, a win because at home to Aston Villa, they're below us. Uh, this is kind of the game you need to be picking up three points and the first chance would come as Origi whips in the ball. It comes to Jerome who puts us 1-0 up. Uh, I go mental and yeah, we're 1-0 up and Jerome who, this is actually going to be his last game for the club because the player we sign... Uh, is actually in the swap deal so Jerome's last game for the club it's nice for him to score he's just been a loyal servant to us uh, but you know everyone has to go but in the 18th minute just after we can't clear the ball and Aston Villa do punish us by equalising really disappointing from Nathan Redmond and John Reddy if you like one of them two m should have been able to clear the ball unfortunately they couldn't and we just conceded obviously so it's 1-1 one, one, back to 1-1 one, one. they've pulled us back and when we score a first goal it's unlikely we're going to get a second but I keep trying and Origi whipped it in towards Hooper there his shot went straight a Volk in the keeper and at half time we actually managed to get 50% possession I always have less possession uh, but we had more shots and more shots on target as well so we kind of deserve to be winning but in the 57th minute Hellenius would pick up the ball gives it to Gardner Gardner puts it inside towards Bent and there's no excuses for not scoring that and in the 67th minute Bent has it again the man who was on low uh, at Derby a couple of seasons ago in this gives it to Hudson whips it in towards Hellenius and that is a very bad header from him should have scored there one of the last chances of the game comes as Delft picks up gives it to Carlos Sanchez inside towards Ben he'd been okay today gives it to Ben Teke who's actually been quiet and puts his shot just wide and one of the last chances of the game comes I keep saying that as uh, the last chance of the game comes as Lopez is inside the box goes for the shot Vulcan makes a good save and I feel we should have had a penalty for a push there but it was full time, same amount of shots, we had more shots on target, and more possession, disappointed to come out of that with a 1-1 draw. Uh, this is the league, though, we're sitting very comfortably in ninth with a game in hand, the team of us are four points in front of us, but if we win the game in hand, then we move just one point behind Newcastle and we can start thinking about EuroLeague again. Uh, a bit of transfer business here, as Josh Murphy goes out to Wigan on loan, very happy with that. Uh, Liverpool say they don't want to sell Balotelli. Aston Villa, who we just played against, say they don't want to sell uh, Benteke. But Aston Villa, who we just played against, accepted the deal for Graham Burke. And I knew I was probably going to be signing him. I looked for him at the Aston Villa team, but he wasn't be he wasn't in there, which I was very um, uh, not concerned about, but a bit confused. And um, Iki Niemi will be going out on loan to Sheffield Wednesday here. And also, you see that we have a bid for Van Wolfswinkle. Uh, which I will cover uh, in a sec. So, yeah, Ricky Van Wolfswinkle, Bolton, one of 2.5 million. His value is 3.2. I'm not going to sell him. Probably because he's going to be our starting striker, along with Hooper. Uh, you'll see why in a sec. Um, Graham Burke comes into the club, £10 million, pounds, 45k a week, plus Cameron Jerome, who's worth about £4 million. So, that's about £14 million. Uh, pound signing. Anti Salo says some rubbish I don't care about. And you will see... Uh, Graham Burke in the squad report and you can actually see a bit of bad news well a lot of bad news because Graham Burke is actually injured for seven weeks which will put him out for about a month and a half which is really bad news because Aston Villa didn't tell me about this when he was going to join when he wasn't playing for Aston Villa I was a bit confused uh, I'm really disappointed about that to be honest uh, because he would have been our best striker but now he's going to be out for seven weeks but um, he wouldn't have been included in this game anyway against Colchester United at home in the cup I feel we've played them before in a cup I really do I have a feeling that we've played them before uh, they do have um, Freddie Sears uh, ex Ipswich striker so we're hoping he doesn't score and then the first chance will come in the seventh minute as Astina whips it into Bamford and Bamford says to me 
put me in your starting squad because I can do just as good a job as Ricky Van Wolfswinkel scores. And I was considering it because it was a brilliant header from Van Bamford. He's taken nothing away from Marcos Astina. That was a beautiful cross. And Bamford does indeed put us 1-0. Before this game, I had a quick look at who the other teams would be facing. And um, there's not a lot of good teams. There's, there's three good teams still in it. Man U, Man City and Chelsea. Man U and Man City are both playing each other. And Chelsea are away to Oxford, which you will see the result of that at half-time and full-time. Uh, so I was really thinking, wow, we can go on and win this tournament if we get through today. And uh, in the 20th minute, they do draw level, but it was offside. And in the 24th minute, Byram sets Van Wolfswinkel away, who does put us 2-0 up. And then he says to me, Piku, let me play in your squad instead of Burke. And I was thinking, oh, I'm really not sure. Van Wolfsonko tells the fans to calm down because it's only FA Cup match. But I'm not coming down because I can think, I genuinely believe we can go on to win this tournament. We got to the quarterfinal of the Capital One Cup. I'm hoping to go one better. I take, if, if you offered me to get to semi-finals now... I would take that. In the 27th minute, straight away from kickoff, Freddie sees the exit, which striker goes through and does indeed score for them to pull it back to 2 1. So, uh, this goal would be crucial because uh, uh, if we scored the third goal of the game, then obviously we would go on to win. And obviously, their goal put them straight back in it. So, really disappointed uh, to concede because you never know that might, that goal might mean a lot. And because we were in really good, uh, like, I mean, when you score a goal, you always, just like two minutes after, you don't really concentrate that hard. But, uh, you know, in the 66th minute, David Fox, the ex uh, Canary, picks up, gives it to Ghibli, who shoots. John Ruddy makes a good save, though. And in the 88th minute, the last chance of the game comes as Craig Eastman, the ex Arsenal loney, um, gives it to Colessi, who whips it in towards Massey. Doris gets a touch on it, but it comes back to Massey, gives it to Okuhange. Back to Massey, and he does indeed score for Colchester. So. When this goal went in, I was really disappointed because of the Freddie Sears goal, actually. Uh, straight from kickoff, Freddie Sears scored. I know it's got nothing to do with this, uh, but if I had been concentrating, then the game would have finished 2 1. So, really disappointed to draw the game 2 2. Uh, the away leg against Colchester because obviously we drew and has to go to a replay. The away leg will be in the um, next episode, which as you can confirm here, Man U Man City did draw. So if you did enjoy this episode of Norwich City Career Mode, leave a like and we'll see you for the next episode very soon.